So I've had a few people ask me how the rapidruby.com newsletter is built because it looks custom and it is. And in this video, I'm going to show you through the code and show you how it's put together. So when you're sending any form of email in a Reels app, you're going to need an email service provider. For that, I use Postmark and I've used Postmark for around 10 years now. I've never had a problem with email going into spam or anything like that. So I would really recommend that you check Postmark out. I'll drop a link in the description below. Um, just interrupting from the future here. I reached out to Postmark after I recorded this video and asked them if I could get a discount code so you can get 20% off your first three months of Postmark using the discount code in the description below. I hope that helps. So in the past, I have used other services uh, to handle email newsletters such as MailChimp, but for the Rapid Ruby newsletter, it's very simple and straightforward and I thought I'd give it a go just building it in Reels myself. So in a previous video, I've showed you how I use turbo frames to capture the newsletters uh, for Rapid Ruby, and I'll drop a link to that in the description. But for actually storing these in the database, it's just a newsletters table, and there's an email column and an unsubscribed at column, which is null by default. And if someone unsubscribes, the current date time just goes into that column. So Whenever we are pulling subscribers out of the database, there's an active scope and this scope just makes sure that the unsubscribed at column is null. Then I've got a newsletter model that just has a subject and some content using action text. And I'm using the administrate admin dashboard. And I've just built a simple page where I can go in, type in the subject, type in some content, um, add a few links, and I can then send a test email, which will just send the mailer to my own email address. And then I have a button for send live, which will deliver this out to all of the subscribers. Now the live sending still uses action mailer, but it doesn't actually call the deliver now or deliver later methods. Um, instead, what we do is loop over all the subscribers build a bulk list of all these messages and then we use the postmark API to send those in bulk. Um, the one other thing you'll need to note is that as part of the mailer there's a header flag where we need to set that it goes to your broadcast stream. So in postmark you have two types of email. Transactional which is where you'll send things like reset your password emails or any kind of one-off email and then you have your broadcast emails which go uh, out in bulk for newsletters. So you'll need to make sure that you use the broadcast stream for your newsletters. So I've found this approach really easy, probably easier than trying to sync up email addresses with another service like MailChimp. And for me, it's just going to be much easier to manage going forward. And I'm not having to pay for any extra services other than Postmark, which I'm already using anyway. So I hope you found that interesting. Drop any questions or comments below and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Cheers.